Okay, so we will continue our lesson today. So last week uh, with the assignment, social media design. So uh, <laughs> so how the experience using the Photoshop creating your social media design? Is it easy or difficult? <laughs> First time user. It's uh, a bit stressful, uh, madam. Stress? <laughs> Kat mana yang stress tu? Huh? A bit confusing. So, Confusing about the tools, maybe? Uh-huh. Got brush sana paling banyak. Okay, you need to keep practice. Okay, every day, every week, you have to keep practice. Just continue design. Okay. Jangan tunggu I bagi lab assessment baru you nak design. Okay, then mind just keep uh, uh, browse the YouTube tutorial, Photoshop tutorial. I also ada bagi kan link for the tutorials. Then you boleh try one by one lah. Okay, so we just want to share the screen first. Okay, I nampak you all ada sharing-sharing kat sini kan. So, boleh kita cuba-cuba tengok lah eh. Okay, kita try one by one. Ayah, Fongzi Hang. So, where's the design? Uh, is it this one? Oh, okay. For Instagram post, the size is something like this, right? Okay, so this is the Instagram post uh, size. Okay, um, siapa ni? Who does, who does film? Okay, so this is one example. Example. Nanti I comment lah, I tak sempat nak comment. So Amira, Amira, are you here? Yes, madam. <laughs> Berapa lama you buat ni? Berapa minit? Lama jugalah. Lama juga. <laughs> okay, when you create a Facebook cover photo, you have to understand. Okay, so this is the size for the Facebook cover size. And then this is your profile picture. So make sure when you do the design, make sure text tu tak ada lah dekat belakang ni. Sekarang ni you tak nampak kan text ni. Betul tak? Okay. So you have to avoid lah this space. You kena bagi a free space kat sini. And then text. For the text, actually last week kita ada belajar tak berkaitan dengan serif, sans serif? Belum lagi eh? Okay. For the for the font text, actually kita akan tengok sikit lah topik for the today is typography. So actually when you create a digital content, okay, you have to understand about the uh, serif and sans serif fonts. Okay. So for the, uh, this is the example. Okay, sans serif means without, without the decoration, okay. For example, Arial, okay. So, this is example, sans serif. And this one is serif with the decoration, handwriting style. That is one of the example for the serif, Times New Roman, okay. That one, if you use serif font, uh, if you want to create something like banner, banting or any printed version you want to print something form, report, thesis uh, then you use this uh, serif font if you want to create something like a blog, mobile apps uh, social media design which means the platform is digital so you have to use the sans serif font so for this case uh, Amira she's tried to use uh, this something like handwriting font right so it's not easy for us to capture okay to capture the 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 message okay so maybe amira you can update <laughs> uh, this cover photo okay try to adjust a different font and then try to um okay another one is your profile image okay the angle how you <laughs> okay i mean angle this one is straight forward forward right you just duduk, Amira duduk tegak <laughs> kat situ kan, betul tak? 
Okay, uh, you need to understand lah for the photographer, uh, dia tahulah angle lah, eh? angle, side angle, okay, macam mana nak backlight, everything lah. So, that's why nanti ada subjek yang you akan belajar untuk takat gambar. I'm not sure subjek apa, tapi memang ada lah untuk uh, photography. Okay, so that is the lesson for you. So, just tengok beberapa contoh je lah. This one, siapa ya? Zarif. Zarif. Zarif ada di sini. Okay. Zarif tak masuk lagi ke? Okay. So what happened to... Uh, ada, ada, ada. <laughs> uh, berapa lama you you design? You ambil uh, masa? Tak ingat lah sebab lepas saya main game tu saya terus design lah. Tahu-tahu dah pagi saya terus tidur lah. <laughs> terus submit. Okay. Uh. Sekarang ni uh, semua tengok eh uh, design ni. So, mata you pandang mana sekarang ni? Uh, point mana yang capture you? Adakah Dota? Or dia punya tagline? Or maybe gambar Zari sendiri yang attract you? Capture uh, yang mana capture you? Yang you nampak lah. Apa boleh respon? Uh, gunakan check room pun okay. Sekarang mata you pandang mana? Text you boleh baca tak? Okay, come on. Pagi-pagi ni. Senyap je. Dah breakfast kan? Belum. <laughs> Alah, tak apa. You pagi-pagi you boleh ni. Okay, ada yang kata Dota. Okay, betul. Dia nampak Dota kan? Sebab dia attract kan? Nampak dia punya logo. And then, lagi? Yang lain nampak apa? Tak nampak apa? Nampak si Zarif ni. Ni betul eh gambar you? <laughs> tu gambar ah, paling best gram tu. <laughs> nampak apa? Ni, battle, battlegrounds. Okay. Sebenarnya, bila you create something, when you design something, actually you nak capture apa sebenarnya? Okay, you nak bagi audience tu tengok apa? Okay, sekarang ni, uh, I tak nampak lah. Okay, I, mata I bercelaru. Oh, kejap I nampak Dota, kejap I nampak Zarif, kejap I nampak uh, logo battlegrounds ni. And then, uh, for the text. Okay, what happened to the text? Zarif. Hmm, Zarif guna sans serif ke serif? Fon. I think dia guna serif, right? Dia ada decoration kat situ. Okay, so maybe Zarif also boleh improve. Okay, try to highlight the text. Okay, highlight. Uh, maybe you can adjust the font size. Okay, maybe uh, gambar dota ni kecil je. Biasanya logo kita letak kecil-kecil je kat atas ni. At the top right corner, biasanya kita akan letak logo. Okay, biasanya kita letak dekat top lah. Um, jarang kita letak dekat uh, footer. Okay, dekat bottom. Biasanya kita akan letak dekat top right corner. Ataupun uh, left corner lah. The top left corner. Okay, dan size dia lebih kecil. So, bila macam ni, nampak dota tu lebih besar daripada uh, owner lah. Kan, betul tak? Okay, Zarif, that is your uh, exercise to improve your design. Okay, so how about this one? Yeah, there, thank you, there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, nampak spek hitam, ha? Kan? <laughs> nampak spek hitam lebih attract. So, apa yang you nak sampaikan tu, tak sampailah. Sebab orang tengok benda-benda lain. So, how about, how about this one? NJM stand for? Okay. Okay, uh, I nampak image macam blur, betul tak? Okay, I, I, I'm not sure how you setting the the image bila you create new file at the Photoshop tu. Okay, make sure when you create a file, the new file, make sure the size is correct lah, 100%. Okay, macam ni nampak, nampak pecah lah eh, nampak pecah. Okay, so far nampak uh, teratur jugalah. Okay, so how about this one? Mata you capture yang mana? Okay. Burung yes. ni ganggu tak? <laughs> okay, you nampaklah person ni kan? Syahira. Syahira, are you here? Ah, Then, Izian Iz kata nampak frame. <laughs> frame tu yang yang attract kita untuk tengok dan Syahira ada kat dalam frame. So, memang the first thing I nampak, memang I nampak muka Syahira. Okay. So, this is one of the promotion uh, dia nak attract 
orang kenal dia lah. Oh, so I'm Shahid lah. Okay, actually this design uh, just want to mention, uh, hi, I'm Shahira, uh, dia bagi tahu. And then baru I tengok the text, betul tak? So baru kita baca, oh tapi uh, text blur eh, tak berapa clear lah. Okay, so kita tengok lagi, ada yang buat YouTube channel? Okay, tengok lagi, Rufa. Okay, so Ulfa, okay nampak dia ada buat something like kotak ni kan. Tapi, uh, so what is the problem of this design? Anyone? Uh, nama betul dia apa ni? Shishi ni? Okay, the problem is the size lah. I know you 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 want to create something different. Okay, cara you potong tu sepatutnya tengok tangan ni. Nampak? Dia tak match lah. Sepatutnya betul-betul uh, you punya jari tu masuk. Betul tak? Yang ni eh. So, please be careful bila you buat something yang macam ni, you kena betul-betul match. Masuk. Sekarang ni dia dah tak balance lah size. Uh, the original size dengan yang you nak cuba highlight lah. I faham you nak buat apa, you nak cuba highlight kan. You nak cuba highlight you punya gambar. Tapi tak ni eh. Okay, so the idea tu dah ada dah. For the first time, uh, I rasa okay. Right. So continue. Uh, siapa lagi? Mm -hmm. Oi, Huda I dah buka. Huda tadi apa masalah dia tadi? Alright. So how about this one? Your value is not based on your productivity. So the first thing yang I nampak, I nampak lah dia punya tagline kan. So any comment for this design? And then the second <laughs> uh, object yang you nampak apa kat sini? Adakah you nampak huda ataupun you nampak uh, ni? Apa ni? Kau eh? Ah, <laughs> <Huh? I> mean. <laughs> So what is the relationship <laughs> uh, The cow <laughs> So bila you create something You want to design something And you want to put objects Okay So what is the relationship uh, About the cow Is it just Saja-saja letak Biasanya kita ada Message yang kita nak sampaikan So what is the The message yang you nak sampai Udah kan Kenapa nak letak Gambar uh, lembu tu kat situ Udah? Sebab rasa kosong. <laughs> rasa kosong. Okay. So kat sini lah nanti sebenarnya uh, apa yang kita nak belajar. Uh, you have to understand the design principle. Okay. So at the you learn uh, di bawah topik uh, masih lagi dekat sini. I ada share design principle. Okay, you have to understand, for the graphic designer, you have to understand the balance, okay, the color contrast, okay, the line, the color combinations, and movement, and so on. Okay, so uh, this is basic, uh, when you create, when you design something, uh, using line, okay, sometimes simple line je, satu line je, dia dah jadi satu decoration or satu design. Okay, you play with the colors. Okay, the contrast colors. Okay, color is very important because uh when you uh, create with the blank uh black colors, eh? for example, we we use the color palette. Um. Okay, contrast. Okay, contrast color. When you use background with the back color, okay. For example, this one, uh, dark blue. For example, okay. Then, uh, maybe you can use the font color using the light pink. Okay, so that is the combination contrast color font and the background color. So, you have to understand about the color first. Okay, so that is the basic for the uh, design element, shapes and texture. Okay, so you can use line. Okay, this is color combination. Okay, most of the first design, of course, uh, you have problem with the color combination, the font, size, and so on. Okay, so this is the color contrast. Okay, um, 
biasanya orang interior design uh, grafik lah uh, memang ada course you all adalah uh, IT student but uh, for example macam UITM uh, ataupun dia ada yang art tu uh, mereka lebih mahir lah untuk part-part yang macam ni so you can use colors to um, to show something lah maknanya to attract kita guna color pun dia boleh bagilah shapes okay textures Okay, uh, kebanyakannya you all ada problem dari segi balance lah. Dari segi uh, bila you nak ambil gambar pun sometimes angle pun uh, tak betul kan. Angle ada macam-macam angle. Macam I duduk sekarang ni betul uh, depan-depan kan. Okay, so you boleh angle kiri kanan uh, daripada atas. Uh, so you akan dapat different angle dan dia akan bezalah dia, you punya design. Okay, so kat sini nanti you boleh tengok dan you akan practice lah. It's, Okay, practice. And then about the space. Okay, for example, uh, I show you example. Uh, Anas here. Anas, are you here? Anas. Okay, I show you the example uh, design from Anas. Okay, so Anas is one of your classmates. Actually, I think nama dia ada kat sini. Nice. Okay, so this is example, simple example. Uh, he try, he's a graphic designer. So, experience with the design. So, this is the output for the assignment one. So, he try to use a black background and contrast with the uh, yellow color. So, apa yang, yang you nampak daripada design dia? Okay, mata you nampak apa? You capture apa? You capture the... Yes, graphic designer. So, Anas try to uh, inform that he is a graphic designer, right? Betul tak? And then baru you you ca you capture lah the text line. Anas, you are here? Maybe you want to say something? You want to share something about your platform? Or your experience? Is your internet connection okay? We can't hear you. Uh, for the Instagram, he try to use the black color for the background. And for the Facebook, he just using the white space. Okay, that is one of another, uh, the best design lah, white space. Okay, so that is one of the example. Then, so I close this one first. Okay, so what happened with this uh, design? Apa yang you nampak? What can you see here? Background. Background? Uh, cactus, right? Cactus. <laughs> uh, I capture cactus. Cactus right this one? Ah, I nampak capture. Uh, I capture cactus. And then baru I nampak uh, siapa ni? <laughs> Nama dia. Okay. So and then what next? Then baru you start capture the word right? Okay. Then baru you nampak. So you have to play with with the design. Okay. For example. Okay. This is just a quote. Uh, my slide presentation. Okay, what you can see here? What is the message from this simple uh, text slide presentation? Anyone? Apa yang I nak highlight? What is the message here from this slide? Publish a book and Yes, actually I want to highlight uh, when you publish a book, you can grow rich. Okay, so this is the keyword. So you have to play with the colors, you have play with the font size, and then baru reader can capture what you want to uh, give the information to the readers. Okay, so th that is an example. So today I just want to brief about the typography concept. 
okay so the typography concept so you can read this uh a simple note so you have to understand uh, the serif and sans serif tag so this is the serif font sans serif font so this is the uh, you have to understand the font size the leading kerning tracking baseline okay so uh, so this is the leading uh, the kerning i think i just show you the video maybe it's much easy for you to understand Hello students, let's begin. Chapter 3, Introduction to Text Part 1 Serif vs. Sans Serif Sun is from Latin words means without. Serif is small detractive flourish on the end of stroke that make up symbols and letters. Font can be defined by a few factors. Wait. Terminology. There are few terminologies of fonts. Font size, X height, ascender, descender, cleaning, tracking. Lastly, it's leading. Okay, uh, we continue to the next video, part two. Okay, so I think you understand the basic, uh, what is the typography. So this is the typography anatomy. Okay, you can open one by one, the basic for the print on demand. So actually from the font, from the text, or we call it typography, uh, you can create logo, okay, using the font, you can, of course, content, uh, content for the content, and then you can, sometimes you can, create a book cover design for example this one okay you can create book cover design so you just play with the text okay but this is my book cover design uh, i have three design here with the same topic diy social media graphic design okay and then you just play with the text with the positions okay you play with the space and then uh is another example also you can create a simple uh play with the font for example this one write an ebooks okay actually you can play with the text here for example i just want to write write an ebooks for example you can play with the font okay so this is the font okay 
Hey, you uh, actually you can use Photoshop, Illustrator. You also can use PowerPoint, Canva, Words. Any platform is um the basic is the design principle. You understand how to manage the font, how to choose the right font. Then you can create um the design uh at, with any platform. You can use any platform to create the design. So you check your computer. So how, how to install the font? You all tahu tak macam mana nak cari font? Did you know how to install the font to your computer? I perlu tunjuk tak? Okay. Right. So uh, when you want to find something, you uh, sometimes you jumpa... Uh, okay. You can go to the Behance actually. Behance. Behance is the platform for the portfolio. Okay. Okay, from the Behance. Okay, I try, I download in eh. Okay, you can try to type uh, typography to get the idea. Okay, to get the idea. Get the idea. Okay, from the text, you can play uh, to create a logo. For example, this one, a uh, logo. Okay, you can play around with the text, uh, this one. Okay, for example, uh, I give you a simple example, Nilo, Nilofa, right? So Nilofa, the branding is a Nilofa. But from the name of the Nilofa product, are the design, kan? They are, Logo, right? For the Nilofa design. Ah, this one. Nilofa logo lah. Okay, so this is a... It's a creative design. Uh, using her name, Nilofa. And then create the branding. Okay, the, the logo. So you also can create your uh, branding, your brand. So using your own name. For example, maybe tadi siapa ada nama? Uh, Huda, right? Huda. Tapi Huda macam terlalu general. Ada tak nama-nama pelik sikit kat sini? <laughs> kan? So, the unique-unique name lah. Macam Atira pun uh, general. Maybe Ulfa? Uh, maybe Ulfa. Uh, Bashiratul Ulfa. Okay. You want to create something for your branding? Then you can design uh, using your name. Then adjust. Okay. So, uh, Anna share the Behance okay, portfolio. So, this is a portfolio from the Anas. So, this is a uh, sample design. Okay. So, nampak tak? Okay. So, amazing burger. Wow. <laughs> Bila you tengok je gambar burger, you rasa you nak beli kan? Betul tak? Okay. So, Behance is a, one of the platform for you to 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 save all your uh, collection lah. Something like collection. Okay. Let me check my my words. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, this is another example. You can create from the text, you can create a book cover design. Okay, just using text. Without any image, without any graphic, you just play with the line. Okay, you use line. Okay, and then you use text. Very simple, but it's very professional. So, I, I like this kind of uh, design. Okay, typography. And then, and then you can play with the background color. Okay, because of the text, uh, you can play with the black color or maybe white color. Okay, for example. Okay, and then you can see this one, uh, book layout, book design. Okay, so this is the cover. You just play with the white and black color and then with the gray something, uh, font color. Okay, so it's very simple. And then you need to understand how to play with the space. Okay, so this is a space to balance. Eh? Uh, 
how you balance the text and the image. Okay, so this is chapter one. Chapter one, so this is the uh, preface from the author. Okay, uh, very nice. I like this kind of design. Okay, and then the logo and so on. Okay, so this is another example. Uh, just play with the text. Okay, portfolio. See, you can see portfolio. And then uh, this one example from your senior. Uh, they try to play with the text and then try to create a logo. So very creative. Okay, uh, try to create the logo, 3D logo. Okay, um, this one something like a uh, cute one lah, something. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, play play with the line. Okay, play with the line. Then you get this uh output, this design. Then, so this is example how you play with the font, font size and font type. Okay, let's say you want to create something. Uh, you look at the example of other design, and then you want to know uh what are the font type for this one ah. so what you have to do uh, you have your handphone right you can go to the google play store okay go to google play store and then go to the apps try to find uh, what what the font okay, what the font Try to install this app at your handphone now. We want to try. Okay, I give you a few minutes to download. Okay, when you install the app, what the font? And then you have to capture. Okay, for example, I just want to capture this font. And then you will get the font, right? Okay, I share you the result at the Telegram. So you download and then you open the apps and then you try to capture the font because you want to know what are the uh, font style, right? So you capture and then you click next and then you get this uh, output. So this font is similar with this kind of font, the race to space texture, Asgard, cooperative, the T-Bowl. Okay, so this is the similar, the similar font that uh, of this font. So you all try ketak ni? Is it easy to use? Apa semua senyap ni? Tengah try. Tengah try. So, okay tak? Tengah download. Tengah download lah. Lamanya nak download. Itu, letu. Cepat-cepat, I tunggu ni. At least you try to capture any any font yang ada dekat rumah tu, you capture lah. Apa-apa font pun. Then you try. Then you get this font. Okay, you have to click lah sebab dia detect banyak ni kan. So just choose one. Okay, you want this one and then click next button. Okay, if you want this one, you just click this one and then next. So it's very easy for you to identify what is the font. Okay, and then Mira, ada share apa tu? Yes, this is a how can we get the font size? So make sure, uh, make sure when you download the font, you need to understand uh, there is a owner, eh, owner licensing, the copyright issue. So make sure uh, you just download the free, free, the free for commercial use. Okay, free for commercial use. So I already share you the link for the font.
you just type at the Google free free font type maybe okay and then try to find the font okay make sure when you try to find the font sometimes you can see free for personal use okay by commercial license okay it's free for personal use but if you want to publish your apps or design or whatever you must find the free for commercial use okay for example uh, this uh, website font space okay just give you the link so maybe you can try okay thank you so everyone share the output okay so we can see so there's a lot of type of um fonts type right okay wow what happened this one is it problem with your handphone <laughs> uh tak accurate lah kan betul tak tak berapa ni so what happened this one siapa punya ni okay ah grab see uh, eb <laughs> Okay, ha, this one accurate lah, right? Fun. So, you must, you must get the same. Maybe problem with the camera, maybe. You pakai camera apa tadi? Siapa tu? <laughs> ha, Hamza. Ha. Maybe problem with your camera? Lighting is not enough? <laughs> okay. Alright. Ah, see? Uh, so this is for the handwriting style lah, something like that. Eh? Uh, hello Christmas. Wow, I, I, I like this kind of style. Maybe when you want to create something for your kids, okay, maybe you can use this kind of fonts, maybe. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so this is another example. Oh, I just want to share, right? This one. Okay, I share. Okay, so please make sure you try to find the free commercial use okay so just click this uh, commercial use so this is a public domain so it's free so you can download oh yep saya nak tukar ya siapa tu okay so for example if you want to uh, get this uh, harry potter font for example Harry, Harry P fonts, okay. So you just click, uh, download font, okay. Download font, and then try to find another two, three types of font. For example, bad comic maybe, okay. Comic, and then if you want to try the handwriting skills, you can just click to the handwriting, okay. So you can get this one. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So you can try download. I just give you a uh, three example. Okay, and then show in the folder. So this is the font. Just create new folder. On that. Okay, please make sure you unzip the file, extract file first. Extract. Okay, extract. Okay, the Harry Potter font. Okay, you have two way how to. Uh, download the font type at your computer. The first one you can uh, search font font setting. Okay, font setting. So this is your font setting in my computer. So you can go to the folder Harry Potter font, and then you can drag and drop to install. Okay, you can drag and drop. Okay. Another way, you can just right click, okay, right click, and then click install. Okay, so that is the easy way, I think. Okay, so Harry Potter, okay, this one, 
right click install then bad comic install that's it so i just uh, install the three font size so this one i just highlight i try to find the harry potter right harry potter dengan bad bad apa tadi you tengah buat ke Where is my phone, Harry Potter? Ah, okay. uh, this one, bad comic, right? So bad comic. So this is uh size. Bad comic. So, apa lagi tadi? I download. Harry Potter. Ah, Harry Potter dengan Harry Rest eh. Okay, so you just, uh, when you right click, install, automatically, you can get the font in your computer. But make sure when you use the computer at your office or your notebook, you have to install again. That is the basic lah. Uh, apa tadi Harry Potter? Mana Harry Potter? Oh, I have to install. Ah, this one. Ah, see? Harry Potter. Okay. So. So, it's very easy, right? To play with the font. So, after this, maybe when you want to create something like uh, Instagram post, you can play with the font. Is yes, that is your activity, free activity for you to use. Okay, that's it. So you understand how to identify the font style and then you want to search font. So you have you have to download one by one and then install. Okay, so so this is the, the typography anatomy. Okay, so this is the kerning, uh, the space between uh, character, right? Uh, be between the P and G. So that's we call kerning. And then uh, there's a lot of uh, terminology. Okay, so make sure you understand this one because this is very popular during your midterm exam. <laughs> uh, sometime maybe final quiz something. Okay, so this is a popular. Okay, so you have to understand what is leading. Okay, what is shoulders. Okay, uh, that's all. Lah. All right. So you also have to understand about the alignment. Okay, about the alignment. You play with the, uh, okay, this one example, just example. Okay, uh, from from text, uh, you can create a mock-up. Okay, mock-up. So, this is just example for the mock-up. Okay, so this, uh, you have to play the alignment, right? Okay, how to capture uh, your image. Okay, the left alignment, the contrast colors. Okay, uh, the important keywords. So, what is the important keyword? You have to bold that one. Okay, if you want to highlight about the uh, grow rich, for example, publish a book and grow rich. And then the word, the grow rich, you can bold that one. Or you can just to adjust the color. Okay, and make it different. Okay, use a different form. Okay, this one is the lower case, right? And then you want to highlight the keyword, you can... Uh, use the capital uppercase lah, uppercase for this case. So you have to understand this one. There's a very good uh information from this website. So I already shared in the you learn. So adjust the structures, mix the different colors, play with the black and white. Okay, black and yellows. Okay, you, you can play with the contrast colors. Okay, color is very important for you to understand. Okay. So this is a hierarchy, okay. So from this design, you can see, oh, how to design with typography. And then uh, you continue to look at the subtitle and so on. Okay, font combinations are also imp important. Okay. You can play with the sans serif and sans serif font, or maybe you can mix, okay, the serif font and then the sans serif font. So, this is a good example for you to understand. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, you can use a different font, eh? Different font to showcase the contrast. Okay, it's very important. And then uh, try to uh, highlight, okay, the readability, okay. Uh, if you look at this point, eh, pretty fonts are fun, but that doesn't mean they are easy to read. Yes, you have to understand that. Make sure reader can read and reader can understand what are your message, what you want to inform to the readers. That is very important. Okay, because sometimes audience uh, can figure out what are you trying to say. Okay, when you, for example, you can see at the, I give you example, Shopee, for example. Can go to the uh, big bad wolf, maybe. Okay, so this is a sample for the books cover. So maybe we can try to find book, um, educational books. We try to educational books or. Oh, ah, pernah beli tak? Okay, look at the all product. So, we go to the non-fiction business. Okay, so, so you can see most of the designer, they just play with the font, right? Okay, for example, this one. So, your eyes capture the word move fast and break things. So, this is the first thing you see at this cover, right? And then you go down and then you see the subtitle, how Facebook, Google and Amazon, corner culture oh. and so on. Okay, they just play with the uh, text. So, this is the uh, designer want to highlight. Wow, work rules. Okay, and then what is the uh, inside the Google whatever. Okay, then baru play with the uh, additional text here. But this one also a lot of text. Uh, banyak sangat kan? Okay. So the best uh, platform actually is uh, using Behance actually. This is the best platform, I think. Uh, if you want to create something like typography, books, cover design. Just type that one, okay, and then try to click this one, okay. Hmm. You just play with the space, uh, with the blue colors, and then this is the table of content. So you can see the different, right? The table of content, they just highlight the page. This one is the page, I think, page, and then the topics. Okay, so this is the book cover. Uh, they try to use the, we call it deboss. Okay, you know, emboss, deboss. <laughs> when we do the printings, uh, emboss. What is the different emboss and deboss? Okay. Uh, emboss means uh, the timbul. Pernah tak tengok buku ada timbul tu? Emboss. Uh, kan? Okay. When you use the Photoshop, actually, okay, for example, by types, e media, okay, at the layer, okay, when you right click, you can see the blending option, right? can see the blending option so you can see the emboss here okay so you just click this one actually and then you can play with the size here okay and then you can uh, uh different style okay outer okay pillow and so on and then okay, you have to play around this one okay try one by one if you play with the stroke so this is stroke Okay, stroke, that's mean you can play with the color. For example, this one. Just example. Okay. Or black. Something like that. Okay. And then you can try to exact, uh, adjust the size. Something like this. Okay. Okay. And then uh, inner shadow. 
Okay, inner glow. Okay, inner glow. Also, you can play with the colors, for example. Okay, and then you can adjust the size here, whatever lah. Okay, the noise and so on. So, you have to play this one. Okay, drop shadow. Okay, this is a drop shadow. Okay, you can see the difference. Hmm. So, I think you can improve. Um. For the lab assessment too, maybe you can play around with this blending option. Okay. So, continue with the session and then choosing font for your business. So, this is serif, sensory, the handwriting, uh, or we call it as a cursive handwriting, right? Cursive handwriting, uh, decorative. Uh, but it's not suitable for the academic books for the decorative okay and then you can get the free font size from this uh, uh, links okay okay and then um okay tracking okay can the baseline eh? baseline of the font baseline okay it's a, it's a creativity i think it's, uh, you can get this uh, style of this when you practice every day every week when you want to create something you just play around with the character okay so maybe after two years three years uh, you're expert in this in this field so you can understand that okay just close this one first okay, yeah. so for example Okay, and then uh, I already give you the link a uh, font playground. Okay, I give you the link here. Ah, this one also have problem with the camera. I think signs. Uh, the the camera cannot detect. Maybe because of the lighting, uh, flash, whatever cannot detect. C right? C uh, similar light. Something. Okay, this one. Uh, okay, so play playground. Can we try to use a uh, playground? Just want to create. Okay, do it. Yourself. Then you can play with the font style and then you can just move this one and then you can play with the size. Okay, you do it yourself. For example, okay. If you want to copy, I think you just control C and then control V. Okay, or maybe just add this one. Okay. With yourself, you can adjust the size. I'm not sure this apps can change the color or not rasa macam tak ada oh, okay be coming soon lah okay and then you can save you can try an error okay also you can use a photoshop you also can use photoshop because when you create this one you can just duplicate and then you can adjust this one okay Twenty twenty one, maybe sometimes just uh make it as a design, something like that. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, you can play around with the font. Okay, so this is a platform, and then uh, let me see. 
what are these? A visual guide to the anatomy of typography infographic. So it's very informative for you to understand uh, how to highlight okay, the leg, arm, ears, shoulders. It's a good uh, information for you. Uh, the scap, okay, the stroke, okay, stroke, sender, whatever. Lah. Okay, so please uh, save all this link and try to understand. Okay. It's a good example for you to understand about the typography design. Okay, is it okay right now? Any question? So uh, I already share you the Photoshop tutorial. Draw and add the text. Okay, so this one. And then text on the image. Okay, how to add the text to the image. Okay, this is just an activity using the Photoshop. Okay, oh, so this is the character setting at the Photoshop. So you can use this one, the kerning, tracking, leading. Okay, please uh, make sure you try this setting. Okay, at the character panel. Okay, and then um, okay, the font size, the alignment, left, justify, uh, center. Okay. Uh, I laju sangat ke ni? Okay kan? Masih bersama saya ke? Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright. So this is the notes for you. And then uh, the creative typography. Okay. So this is the creative typography. So for your lab assessment 2. For lab assessment 2. I give you option. Okay, I give you option. Two option. Uh, either you want to play with the typography. Uh, typography design. Or you want to create photo manipulation design. Okay, I give you option. So if you want to create typography, then just submit typography. I will show you the link where to submit the uh, your final products. Okay, or the lab assessment two, you will create the photo manipulation. Okay, photo manipulation. I already share the photo manipulation image. So this is example of the photo manipulation. Okay, actually, uh, you have to think out of the box. Okay, for example, this image. Okay, uh, they try to climb the biscuit, right? Okay, so just uh, think there's something different. Okay, think out of the box. Okay, this one eraser, right? Uh, sleeping at the eraser. Okay, uh -huh, the mail, right? Uh, this one <laughs> broccoli, right? Uh, something like that. Uh, okay, mask. Okay, then, or maybe there's a lot of tutorial about the uh, photo manipulation. You can just uh, go to the YouTube. And then just type photo, photo manipulation, uh, Photoshop tutorial for beginners. Just find the uh, basic tutorial. Breeze cleans tough stains effectively with an eco-friendly formula. Now available in Big Value Refills. This is OutSystems, the most complete full-stack application development platform for professional developers. Hello and welcome to Introduction to Photo Manipulation in Adobe Photoshop. I'm Abby Esparza. So Manipulation. Just, I like to go with... You can just search any tutorial that you like and then you can submit the photo manipulation uh, submission uh, for, for, for this week. So I give you option if you want to create the typography design or you want to create the photo manipulation. Okay, before that, uh, I already give you the tutorial uh, using the brush. Uh, and this is a tutorial how can you use brush to design a simple uh, activity when you want to create the photo manipulation. You have to understand uh, I already give you the link to get the free brush for the Photoshop. Uh, it's very easy. Uh, so this is example brush. Uh, you just download. 
this one okay if you want to download this kind of brush okay you just click download okay download and then all right load in okay try to find another url or this one also I close this one. Try to close this one. Okay, you can try this tutorial also, the creative typography. So this step, uh, one by one step, so you can get this uh final output. Okay. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, I want to get this brush, for example, this one. So just close this one. do the bird brush okay and then uh this one is free make sure you check the license info license info so this file is free for personal and commercial use but that's mean when you download the brush Okay, make sure you check the license. The same like your image, font type before. And then if the if the, the license mentioned about the personal and commercial use, then you can use that. Okay. For commercial use means you want to publish at your platform, e-commerce platform, or you want to sell something, poster design, or you do the freelance job. So make sure you understand the commercial uh license okay but you must give attribution in one of the following ways okay so this is the um terms and condition you get it free for the commission use but you must give attribution you must give attribution means you must highlight if you want to create a youtube channel a youtube video tutorial how to uh so create something design using the photoshop brush using this platform so you have to mention uh, this uh, you can get this from this website okay at the final credit at the end of the video you have to highlight or uh, you get this brush from this brush uh, shizy.com okay please uh, attribute that is the attribute sometimes um no attribution no attribution that means you uh, uh don't have to uh, uh, mention okay at the final credit so for this case you need to uh for the okay this one is for the business eh at the amazon amazon merch okay amazon merch this is another a platform for you to design a t-shirt something like that and then you want to sell something at the amazon so this is the platform so for that uh, you have to buy credit and subscribe okay if you want to sell something uh, with this platform so make sure uh, you have to buy credit and subscription okay and then web for the web development or maybe sometimes you want to share at your website blog and so on copy and paste the following code for the attribution so you have to copy this one right uh, this is the link for the this website so different platform different style video give credit at the final printing uh, you just add at the last at the reference or the, at the photo credit you just mention uh, okay uh, the reference and then for the uh, merchandise and then you can buy credit and subscribe for the web you just to copy the link okay so that is the basic 
uh, rules to understand and then you click free download okay, it's take just few minutes to download so i get this file okay cut and then create new folder for example photoshop okay and then paste and then uh, as usual extract the file extract the file everyone okay ke okay senyap semua ni <laughs> all right so so this is your canvas and then uh, you can go to the brush tool okay so this is the brush tool okay brush tool okay actually you can follow the tutorial right now okay, tutorial and then you can go to this setting and then import okay import and then go to the folder photoshop brush and then click So that is the way how you import the brush. Okay. Okay, you can just go through uh, the the video, okay? One by one. So this is the Okay. So for today I think and then go to the load brush, brush that you have and water splash. Okay, now Okay, I have a watermelon here. Angle, so on. Get another one. Okay, then you can add text. Okay, you can add any text. Okay, that is your homework lah, one by one. Okay, the Photoshop brush and then the healing brush tool okay the healing brush tool so i think uh that's all for today is there any question for today's session so make sure you submit your lab assessment to another two percent for this activity you can choose photo manipulation or typography design Okay, uh, is it clear? Okay. Yeah, my okay, so I think I end my session yeah. today. So good luck with the tutorial <laughs> and good luck with your uh, exercise. Okay, try to download the phone, try to download the Photoshop brush, uh, try to explore all the tools in the Photoshop because next week we will try to start with the Illustrator. Make sure you download Adobe Illustrator uh, because that one is uh, for the vector design. Okay, so see you next week. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you, Madam. 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 Thank you, Madam.